Hi, I'm Dr. Shah. I was the National Lecture Competition winner in 1989, and I'm the Maths Master at Maths School. Now, ready for a new way of doing maths? So just like when we're working out the median, we'd have three different cases to consider. Case one, we have a list of data. So a list of data might be um, like this data here. And this might be um, the data for the number of times that a group of students visited the cinema last month. So there's our data. The mean is called x bar, and it's found by adding together all the values of x and then dividing by n. So that sigma x means you have to add up all the values of x. So if you add up all these values of x, add them all up, you should get 40. And divided by n, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 40 divided by 8, and so that gives you 5 as being the mean. So case 2 will be a table of ungrouped data. Um, so in this case we've got uh, poker players and taking part in a tournament, and these are the number of wins. So 12 people didn't get any wins, 27 people managed one win, 25 people got two wins, and so on. So we want to find the mean of this data. What we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to add in a new row. If I call these x and I call these f, then my new row is going to be called xf. And it's found by multiplying these two together. So 0 times 12, 0. 1 times 27, 27. 2 times 25 is 50. 3 times 13 is 39. And 4 times 8 is 32. Once we've done that, we're going to total up the frequencies. So adding up all, all of these frequencies, maybe just sticking it in the calculator, will give you an answer of 79. And I'm going to call that n, so n equals 79. And then I'm going to add up all of these, adding up all of these, again on the calculator, gives you a total of 1, 2, 4, and I'm going to call that sigma x, the sum of all the x's. And then now to find my mean, I do the same formula as last time, sigma x over n, except this time my sigma x is here, 1, 2, 4, and my n is here, 79. And again, sticking it into the calculator, you get a mean of 1.57. The mean for a set of data, even if the data is discrete like this, the number of wins, the mean doesn't have to be a whole number, it can be 1.57. It's useful to know that the mean isn't 1 and it isn't 2, it's 1.57. So that means we know that a lot of people got one win and a, lot, and a lot of people got two wins, but the average wasn't exactly in between them, it was slightly closer to 2 than it was to 1. So, our last case is a table of group data. And that would often happen because our data isn't discrete, it's continuous. And so here we've got an example. We've got age, 0 to 10, two people in that category, um, 10 to 24 people in that category, and so on. And we want to find the mean of this data. Now, when you have group data, you won't be able to identify the mean exactly anymore. And the reason is because of these four people that were in the 10 to 20 class, we don't know were they ten, all 10 years old, was one of them 15, one of them 18, one of them 19, and the other um, 11. So because we don't know, because this has summarised the data, all we're going to be able to do is estimate the mean. And this is how we do it. First thing we need to do is to change these to the mid values. Now we can change these to the mid values straight away because you can see there's no gap between the end of that class and the start of the next class. If there is a gap, then we must first of all rewrite it um, using class boundaries. But in this case, there isn't a gap, so it's fine. So we're going to find the middle of each class. So the middle of that class, 0 to 10, would be 5. And the middle of that class would be 15. The middle of that class would be 25, 35, and 45. Now that we've done that, we're going to treat it just in the same way as we did our table of ungrouped data. So just as before, we now do xf, which is multiplying the x's by the frequency, so 5 times 2 is 10, 15 times 4 is 60, 25 times 2 is 50, 
35 and 45. And again, in exactly the same way as we did when we had our table of ungrouped data, we sum up these to tell us n is 10. And we sum up this row to tell us our sigma x is 200. And the mean is calculated in the same way as before. Sigma x is, x bar is sigma x over n. Sigma x is 200. n is 10. And so that gives us our mean of 20. So essentially, the calculation is exactly the same as when we had a table of ungrouped data, except first of all we have to find the mid values and then we proceed in exactly the same way.